As a trusted review platform, Yelp is a great source of social proof for your business. By showing positive Yelp reviews on your website, you can easily convert potential customers and boost your SEO too. That's why in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to embed your Yelp reviews on your WordPress website. If you're ready, let's get started. The best and easiest way to embed Yelp reviews on your WordPress website is by using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows you to embed reviews from Google, Facebook, Yelp, and TripAdvisor in fast and responsive feeds like this. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Once you're inside your dashboard, head over to Plugins on the left-hand side and click on Add New. Then go and click on Upload Plugin at the top. Click here and upload the zip file you downloaded for Reviews Feed Pro, like this, and click on Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed, and on the left-hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. And here you'll have to enter the license key for Reviews Feed Pro. You can copy from your Smash Balloon account and paste it here like this and click on Activate. Great, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our Yelp Reviews Feed. To get started, click on Add New. And now we'll have to add a source for our Reviews Feed. Click Add Source. And as I mentioned earlier with Reviews Feed Pro, you can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, and Yelp. In this video, we're creating a feed of reviews from Yelp. So let's select it like this and click on Next. Now we'll have to enter our Yelp API key. I've already got mine ready, but if you want to learn how to create one for yourself, you can click on the video tutorial on the top right of your screen, or follow our written guide which you can find in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, you can go ahead and paste it like this, and click on Next. Now we'll have to add the page URL for our Yelp reviews. For this example, let's embed Yelp reviews from this restaurant called Brenda's French Soul Food. This restaurant has almost 12,000 reviews, so it's perfect to use for this example. Go ahead and copy the URL from the top of your web browser like this. And back inside Reviews Feed Pro, you can paste that URL here and click on Finish. As you can see, our source has now been added. You can click on it like this to select it and click on Next. And now Reviews Feed Pro will give you several different templates for the appearance of your Reviews Feed. You have options like the default, simple cards, masonry, single review, showcase carousel, and more. For this example, let's go ahead with simple cards and click on Next. And almost instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our brand new Reviews Feed. And before I show you how to embed it on your live web page, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left hand side under the customize tab, go into layout. As you can see currently we have the list layout selected, which displays all of your Yelp reviews in a single column list like this. And next we have the masonry layout, which displays the reviews in rows and columns like this. And lastly we have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through your reviews like this. For this video, let's continue with the list layout, and once you're happy with your reviews feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, with Reviews Feed Pro, you can also customize the header area of your Reviews Feed. Click on Header on the left-hand side, and you'll find options to modify each of the elements inside your header. You can modify the heading, the Write a Review button, and the Average Review Rating. If you want to hide any of these elements, simply uncheck it like this, or select it again to bring it back. And if you want to disable the header entirely, you can disable it up at the top here. Again, if you make any changes here, go and click on Save on the top right corner. With Reviews Feed Pro, everything you see in each individual review is customizable as well. On the left-hand side, click on Reviews and go into Edit Individual Elements. As you can see here, you have all the elements inside each review box. You have the author and date, rating, review paragraph, and any images or videos if they're available. For example, if we wanted to hide the rating, we can go and uncheck it like this. And if we want to bring it back, you can see that it's now appearing at the bottom right here. This just shows that you can also customize how all the elements are stacked inside the review. If we want to move the rating back up to the top, all you have to do is drag it like this and place it in the order you want it to be. And again, you can see that change made instantly in the live preview. If you're happy with the changes, click on save on the top right corner. And if you're looking for ways to moderate the reviews displayed on your feed, Reviews Feed Pro has options for that too. Head over to the settings tab and click on filters. Here you can filter the reviews you want to display based on the star rating, and you can also add keywords to display or hide certain reviews containing that keyword. And that's not all. If you go back into settings and click on moderation, you can choose the exact reviews you want to allow or block on your reviews feed, so you have complete control over the content you want to display on your feed. Now that you know how to customize and moderate your reviews feed, let's go and embed it onto your WordPress website. Click on Embed on the top right corner, copy the dedicated shortcode for your reviews feed like this, and click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on Add. With our plugin, you have two different options to embed your reviews feed. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode you copied like this, or you can use our dedicated reviews feed block like this, and you'll instantly see a live preview of your brand new reviews feed right inside your page. And once you publish it, it looks amazing on your live web page too. So we have the reviews feed that we created earlier and the simple cards layout, and we have the three latest reviews from the restaurant's Yelp page. 
But if you wanted to add your Yelp reviews into the footer or sidebar of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you how. So you can see that we have a new template for our reviews feed, and this one's much better suited for the footer of our website. Click on embed on the top right corner. You can copy your shortcode just like before. And instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget instead. And this takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. Since we're adding our reviews feed inside the footer, let's go into the footer widget block like this. To embed our reviews feed, we have the same two options as before. We can either use a dedicated reviews feed block, or we can use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied like this. That's all ready for us now, so we can go and click on update and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now back on our live web page, you'll see that Yelp reviews feed we created earlier in the simple cards layout. And now if I scroll down below to the footer, you can see that we have a Yelp reviews feed inside the footer as well in the carousel layout. So you can swipe through the reviews like this and sitting neatly inside the footer. So we successfully added a Yelp reviews feed inside our main web page and the footer of our website as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.